Hey guys, so today we're going to be looking at more relationship stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. Someone told me a really disturbing thing about my girlfriend and I don't know how I should proceed. Me and my girlfriend have been dating for almost one and a half years now. We love each other. She has a guy best friend and for the last eight months I had a feeling that he likes her and makes a move on her, knowing she has a boyfriend. And during the last two months I became sure of it because of the things he does. I confronted my girlfriend about this and told her that her best friend likes her and she should stay away from him. She says I'm delusional and making shit up. There's no way that's possible. We are really just close friends, etc. After having to go through a few more incidents, I couldn't stand it anymore and told her to talk to him. Or I will talk to him and it might not end with just a talk. She said okay and talked to him. And the best friend came to me to apologize. And while doing that, when I told him the things he did, he just said that's how I act towards my friends and you're making it up in your head. He also apologized a few times, but I did not get the feeling that he was really sorry from our talk. And then he goes on to talk to my girlfriend saying your boyfriend will keep finding ways to blame me. He's delusional and if you want, we can stop being friends. My girlfriend says no and they cry together. Then she gives me the cold shoulder after she talked with him for two days. And she also told me I will not tell you what happened at my meetings with friends anymore. And when I asked why, she said that's the best solution for you to not get pissed off at anything my friends do. I was really heartbroken but she did not care and she kept saying she was more sad because I talked to her best friend too harshly. I did not press the issue because we had exams in two days and we both needed to study. Girl, what are you doing? <laughs> Honestly, at this point, just date your best friend then. Seriously, what's the point of getting a boyfriend if you're not going to tell your boyfriend anything and if you're going to cry together with your best friend? Just date your best friend! Today, our exams were over, but she had to go to her family because of an emergency, so we couldn't talk. And today, some random guy from our school asked me if I had broken up with my girlfriend, and I said no, why? He said he saw my girlfriend holding hands and sitting closely with a guy at a cafe a few months ago and thought we might have broken up. I asked him, are you sure? And he said, yeah. And then to confirm it, I showed him a photo of my girlfriend and he said, yeah, I know what she looks like. And then I felt like I should show him the best friend's photo too. So I did and he said, yeah, that's a guy. I am really lost. I don't know what to do. I can't talk to her about it because she has so much on her plate because of a family emergency and she's away with her family. I don't want to add to her problems right now, so I'm pretending to be okay in our text. But I feel like shit and I have been staring at a blank wall and drinking alcohol for the last two hours. I really don't know what to do. I'm her first boyfriend and she's my first love. I've dated a few other girls before but she's the first one I truly feel in love with. So I really really love her and I don't want to lose her but I also feel cheated on. Boy you were cheated on. If I was this guy I, I just don't think I can deal with the drama seriously. <laughs> like I feel like the best friend is gonna be in her life forever. All right, every single time something happens, she's going to be comforting the best friend first and not the boyfriend, you know, and that's the wrong priority. She has her priorities all wrong. Once you have a boyfriend, you got to start setting boundaries with your opposite sex best friend. You guys can't still be lovey-dovey and touchy-touchy anymore because you now have a boyfriend, girl. I mean, she could do all that before she got a boyfriend because they're both single. But once you're in a relationship, you got to start respecting the person that you're with. Seriously, this sounds like they're in high school, but they're literally 22 years old. The girlfriend and the best friend are acting like they're in high school. He was like, your boyfriend's gonna keep on blaming me, and if you don't want to be friends, then okay. We don't have to be friends anymore. <laughs> Ew. Disgusting. My girlfriend made an ultimatum. Either I get her name tatted or we break up. What can I do? Break up. It's never worth getting someone else's name tatted on your body. <laughs> and what the hell is this ultimatum? Like, you guys are literally 18, 19 years old. Like, you know, enjoy your life <laughs> without each other. Because here's the thing. Why is she valuing a tattoo over their relationship? Like, why is she putting the tattoo over their relationship? Why is she like, we're going to break up if you didn't get a tattoo? That's dumb. Break up then. Break up. I've been with my girlfriend for 8 months now and recently she got a tattoo herself because she always wanted one. Recently she told me to get her name tatted and initially I said no. Now I'm perfectly fine with getting tattoos and I plan on getting some myself when I save up enough. But the issue I have is because I personally think it's a bad idea to get your SO's name tatted because it's like the kiss of death thing. Along with I'm not really comfortable with getting one while dating. I'd rather wait until marriage. Which then in my opinion getting her name would be a better time. Which is what I told her. Which is where the ultimatum she made comes in. She gave me the deadline of December 8th to get it done or she's breaking up with me. Pfft. 
I absolutely love this girl to bits and I want to have a future with her and breaking up with her is something I want to avoid at all costs. But after this, I don't know how to bring up my feelings again. I don't want to hurt her feelings or disappoint her about how I feel about getting her name. I know I need to talk about this, but how do I go about it? Thank you. So he loves this girl, but obviously she doesn't love him enough because she literally wants to break up with him over a tattoo. Hello. Oh, what is she thinking? I don't get it. She has a man that loves her to bits, but she's really going to be like, you either get my name tatted or we're breaking up. Just break up, dude. It's not worth it. <laughs> Find someone that actually loves you. Holy. And plus, she's like red flags all over because she's trying to manipulate him to feel bad and try to make him feel guilty that the relationship is going to end because of him. Yeah. No, thank you. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.